Congratulations on making the smart choice of the Celatrix Electro Operator. This video will walk you through the basic operations in the cell electro operation experiment. Plug in the power cable and switch on the machine. The electro operator will run a self test and then proceed to the user interface. Voltage, pulse time, pulse number, and pulse interval can be set. The electro operator uses our proprietary electro operation tubes, and adapters are used to accommodate different tube sizes. Safety precaution The metal part underneath the hinge cover and the metal part on the top of the inserted electro operation tube are high voltage electrical connection terminals. Do not touch them with your hand. While the Celatrix electro operator is straightforward to operate, our electro operation tubes are specially designed, and they must be fully filled with the sample without air bubbles. For example, to load a 120 microliter tube, you'll need to take about 125 microliter. Insert the pipette tip all the way into the electro operation tube. Rotate the tube against the pipette tip to wet the bottom. Release the liquid steadily and keep the pipette tip end in the liquid while moving upwards until a bulging convex liquid surface is formed on the top. Press down the tube cover firmly with your thumb till you can feel the metal part on the top slightly sticking out. A new user should practice loading of the electro operation tube with PBS buffer. If there's a tiny bubble after loading, you can still continue as long as the diameter of the bubble is less than one-third of the tube. If there is an air bubble larger than one-third tube diameter, you'll need to empty the tube and reload it. When a sample is correctly loaded, you will see a pulse record after electro operation. The pulse report shown here is from a 120 microliter tube electro operated with 650 volts and 30 milliseconds. For an incorrectly loaded sample with a big air bubble, you won't see the normal pulse form. The machine beeps a low current warning and you need to reload the sample. Now, we can electroporate culture cells. Here, we are using a suspension cell line. For adhering cells, digest them with trypsum into single-cell suspension. Centrifuge the cells to a pellet and wash the cells once with a serum-free medium. During centrifugation, the electro-operation buffer can be prepared. Celatrix electro-operation buffer has two components, part A and part B. Mix them at one-to-one -one ratio and they need to be freshly made. Resuspend the washed cells with the electro operation buffer. Add the plasmid and mix them well. Load the sample and perform electro operation immediately to avoid cell sedimentation. We use a single pulse at 30 milliseconds for most cell lines. You'll only need to adjust the voltage. Press the settings icon to select parameters and then press done. 
press the push button to release the hinge cover. Insert an adapter into the socket. Then, insert the electroboration tube into the adapter. Close the hinge cover and you'll see a blue light and the screen displays Go. Press the Go button to finish the electroboration and you'll see a pulse report immediately. Remove the tube from the machine and transfer the cells to their culture medium. Switch off the electrooperator after the experiment is completed. Thank you for choosing the Celatrix electrooperator. Please visit our website or contact us for further information.